If he wants to go too far, like... You know Mr. Ronda's temper. So do you, don't you? How shouldn't I since I became his wife? That was an evil moment. Oh, you like that, don't you? Hey, Let's see what we got here tonight, shall we? What marks shall we give for this, then? Top marks? Dark, isn't it? Queen of the night. Dark. Can't see a damn thing in this pitch. Yeah. Limelight. Dance in the limelight. Perform. See what marks we'll give tonight. Moths around a flame. Oh, why struggle, my darling? Yes, not as if you're going anywhere. The marriage bonds. You'll jump this broomstick and like it. Oh, good marks tonight. Time to give the lion what he wants. Don't speak of it, Leonardo. What good does it do? Didn't you know him before that? Look, I was brought up on the sawdust. Not like you, a man who could come to it because you wanted. I was doing springs through you before I was ten. Look at you now. Queen of his night. Yes, and clear out of animal litter when the shows are over. And that Leonardo is still a world removed from how I was before Barrington Ronda loved me. But can you call me? He gives you love, Eugenia. Don't call me that. <sighs> Mrs. Ronda, then. Mrs. Ronda, the showman's wife. I don't want to be that different. I didn't ask. When Ronda wanted me, I was only just a woman. I was poor. You made a bad bargain, didn't you? I've got this cage to finish. This is the strong man, Leonardo. The man who said at the inquest, forgive me, Mrs. Ronda. That is Leonardo. Mm. Magnificent physique, a professional acrobat, almost an archetype. Self-possessed, and smile. A man with a string of friends. Conquests, yes. That is Leonardo. Here. Now, this face I know. Hyperion to a satyr. What? Your husband. Oh. Their pictures will help you to understand, gentlemen. The scandal I could not bear if I took my story to the police. The publicity and what would be said of me. Yet I must have somebody understand. When I'm gone. Well, I had better warn you now, madam. Since you might then wish to reconsider your intention to speak, it is not in my power to offer absolution. Nor can I promise unconditional discretion. I know you to be a man of judgment, Mr. Holmes. But also a responsible one, Mrs. Ronda. My duty might still be to refer you to the police, even having heard your story. I will take my chance. You are wise to trust a Holmes, madam. You compliment me by your faith. So, Mrs. Ronda, this Leonardo... You see what he was like. Perhaps we don't all look upon him with the same eyes. Well... I may say to you, gentlemen, he was the angel Gabriel to me. Eugenia. I have only a moment, Leonardo. It's not enough to be snatching time like we have to. What? It's all I have. Do you want to cross him? I would, if it was for myself. To do what he does to you, a woman, that monster, Not a that woman, ruffian. Leonardo. A woman who is my friend. I wish you would let me protect you. How? What can you do for me? He's afraid of me. He's a coward as well as a bully. And all the rest. You can't avenge me by hurting him, strong man as you are. You can't attack a man for his treatment of his own wife, however bad. Put me to the test. What would be said of us both if I did? Well, and so? You'd like it to be said, wouldn't you? He beats you. Wouldn't you? He treats you as he mistreats the animals, Eugenia. Don't call me that. Again and again he's had up in court for cruelty to the beasts, assaults and drunken brawls, beatings, maulings, thumb crushings, all his stock in trade. Who cares? Things go well. He has plenty of money for the fines. And you suffer them all. So what will you do, Mr. Strongman? By the law, he's within his rights. It's not justice that he goes in the dock for harm to beasts and not to you. Justice? Don't look for it. But you understand this as I do. I'm less than livestock to him, and by my own choice, I'm his wife, 
less than his property. Don't look at me like that. Eugenia. No. He shouldn't be allowed to live. Eugenia! Here! Here I am! Oh. Prettying yourself up, are you? If you wish it. Let's see it, then. See how much better you're getting at covering yourself with slap. Oh, I have to for the performance. Oh, yes. Perform for your strong man. Don't be a fool. You know who I've been with? No. My Kate. Down at the River Street. She likes me. Don't you have anything to say to that? What do you want me to say? You haughty bitch. With your eyes for all the strong men. I come back to you. I'm tired. What kind of welcome do I get? Your husband. The best I can bring myself to give. Oh, you can do better than that. Hand it down to me. No. No, Barrington. Take it down and hand it to me, I say. No. My Kate, she takes it hard. That poor my... woman. She's getting it hot and strong again tonight. I can't listen to this. Well, then why do you? <laughs> you torment yourself, Leonardo, and to no purpose. Ronda's drunk again. You can pity his poor woman, but it's better he takes it out on his own, isn't it? Say that again, Jimmy Griggs, and you'll find your grinning clown's face in Sahara King's mouth. Look, if you're going to suffer, old man, there are better ways than this. Hanging about round her caravan wheels, listening to that. I love her. You're a fool. And you're a damn coward. You love them. Yeah, as much as any man or woman in the troop or beast if it comes to that. And more than enough of the best are left already because of it. The show's downhill to Carey Street, that's what. So leave. Why don't you? You've got cause. He's lashed out at us all. I can't. Well then. Meantime, he's our master. Don't forget it. Oh, for God's sake. If he's hurt, I... You know he is. Enjoy the show, Leonardo. One day, Mr. Ronda, she'll be revenged upon you. Till then, I'm still Mr. Ronda. Eh? Leonardo. <laughs> Good night. Good night to one and all. Glory to thee, my God, this night, for all the blessings of the light. I was in hell, and he, the devil who tormented me. You have been cruelly used. It is an abominable way for any man to behave. But all too common. I hope not. Have you been married, Mr. Holmes? My friend Watson. Then you will know how a man feels, Doctor. <sighs> it is not done. Oh, I assure you, sir, it has been done to me. So you planned that your husband should die? You anticipate me. It is obvious. You and your lover plotted to kill your husband. How oh, formidable in his bestiality he may have been, but I think the police yet may have a right to you learn. Shall not I do did this. not promise discretion, Watson. Go now, then, sir, if you will not hear out my story. I'm sorry I ever thought you might understand. No, I was a fool to think that you might care. At least you could allow the condemned woman a last word, Holmes. Very well. But I hold to my conditions, Mrs. Ronda. If you will. You will tell me it was Leonardo's plan, won't you? Not to excuse myself, Mr. Holmes, for I was prepared to go with him every inch of the way. But I should never have had his wit, never have thought of such a plan. There. Weighted with lead. It'll go through steel plate, never mind a man's skull. That is a fearsome weapon. You don't have to watch. I want to see it done. To see him dead. Like this. See? Five nails. Just the spread of the lion's paw. Come here. So, when? When you want. Tonight. Brave woman. Stupid.
strong man. And a line to take the blame. <laughs> <laughs> Will you open the cage? You do it. It's you he likes best to see, isn't it? Can you wonder at it? Feed him and let's get to bed. Something special. Uh, why were you so slow? Open the cage, quick! Help me! Oh, my God! He's here! Oh, goodness, please stop it! Oh, my God! Somebody! Help me! I need someone! And a two-fold! Oh, my God! could have saved you. Leonardo, he had the club. You could not have known how poor a spirit was hidden in that splendid body. I've heard how quick lions can be to scent human blood and how it excites them. The coward. He turned and ran. And at the same instant, I felt the lion's teeth meet in my face. I should have died then. It would have been more merciful. But they saved you. Those men who valued you. You think I should be grateful to them? When I looked in the mirror and saw myself, I cursed them for my rescue. Better to have cursed the lion. Oh, I did, sir. Not because he'd torn away my beauty, but because he'd not torn away my life. So I've caged myself, gentlemen, now. I have money enough. No one I've ever known shall find me. A poor wounded beast that has crawled into its hole to die. Poor girl. Holmes? What of the man Leonardo? Nothing. You could have brought him to the gallows. Oh, I loved him, Doctor. He pitied me and helped me, and I loved as I'd never hoped. It's not so easily set aside. He deserted you, Mrs. Rondo. How could he love the thing that Lion had left? We carried freaks to show around the country. He might as soon have tried to love one of them. You speak of him in the past. Yes. He's dead last month. Drowned. I saw it in the paper. So you stood seven years between Leonardo and his fate despite everything. You did not promise me your discretion, Mr. Holmes. No more I did, Mrs. Rhonda. Well, I care little what you may do now. One thing, the five-clawed club. Yes, the most ingenious feature of all your story. What became of it? I cannot tell you. There was a chalk pit near our camp, a deep green pool at its base, perhaps there. <sighs> oh, well, it's of little consequence. The case is closed. Yes. The case is closed. Your life is not your own, Mrs. Rhonda. Keep your hands off it. What use is it? How can you tell? The example of patient suffering. Mr. Is... Holmes, I wonder if you could bear this. Dear God. Poor girl. I keep seeing her eyes. Yes. Yeah. Ah, they were beautiful. In the midst of that ruin. The world is a cruel jest, Watson. Mm, but there is some compensation hereafter, isn't there? There is some now. Here. Now, be careful. Prussic acid. Came by post this morning. With a note. I send you my temptation. I will follow your advice. Leonardo was right. She is a brave woman. In The Veiled Lodger, Sherlock Holmes was played by Clive Medicine and Dr. Watson by Michael Williams. With Harriet Walter as Eugenia, and Douglas Henshaw as Leonardo. Rondo was played by Ian Masters, Griggs by Michael Tudor Barnes, Inspector Edmonds and Murphys by Oliver Senton, Harbinson, Coroner and Beamish by Peter Yap, and Mrs. Merrilow by Kristen Millward. The violinists were Leonard Friedman and Mari Campbell. The Veiled Lodger was dramatized for radio by Roger Danes. The production assistant was Joan Raffin, and the director was Patrick Rayner.